so for those of you who don't know me my name is k a w a i k bye k bye not kawaii okay i get that at starbucks every time or like anywhere else when i just say my name i say kawaii and they say oh kawaii you mean like the island no not like kawaii like the island kawaii like kawaii like cute no not kawaii okay kawaii get it straight okay and if you guys aren't following me already come follow me on instagram my instagram is kawaii 808 okay so today's just gonna be a get ready with me um i just wanted to share like the reason why I'm coming back onto YouTube and just a little bit of a chit chat with you guys, um, telling you guys some stories or whatever uh, while I get ready and using some tips and tricks for waterproof makeup, okay? So if you guys want to see all that, just keep on watching! Right now I look a little crazy, but right now I'm just using uh, the Glam Glow Brightening uh, Mask. And this helps to just brighten your face. Uh, this was recommended from one of my friends at work. And then my hair is a little crazy, but I'm actually going to put it in a splitted uh, braid. I'm going to let this mask sit for a little bit, and I'm going to do my hair. Okay, so now I have my hair slicked back, because when I'm in the water, I really hate when like the water touches my entire hair. I don't know, I'm weird like that. I, I'll always put my hair up. Whether it's a ponytail or like a braid like this. Um, I'm nowhere near perfect. Like this is really ugly and I honestly don't even give a shit. Um, sorry, your girl didn't eat breakfast here, okay? <sighs> okay, so after I mask, if I do mask, um, I use the Tatcha Moisturizer. This is like my super holy grail fave. So don't mind, I have a few blemishes. But you know what? Bitch, who doesn't? Okay. Oh, girl. <laughs> I fucking love Cardi B, y'all. Did you guys listen to her new album recently? Like, if you didn't, bitch, you need to go. Can't forget your neck, girl. Don't forget your neck. Don't neglect her. When you go outside, you want to always um, use sunscreen. The one I use is, like, the one I got from my mom, like, kind of a while back. But I've always wanted to try the Shiseido one. That one I've heard is really good. That's going to be my next buy. Um, so, but I use this one. It's a little more oily. I'm not, like, recommending it or anything. It's just the one that I use. It's here, and it's almost gone. I mean, I might as well finish it before buying a new one. So, yeah, we're just going to pat that in our skin. This one does come out sticky, like, kind of how, like, a how sunblock would come off and it does make you look really shiny so if you're oily i wouldn't recommend this for you it does smell like sunblock so it doesn't have like a soft smell but like i said it's not like my favorite or anything i'm just using it because that's what i have so then i'm gonna use the banana brightening cream I almost like never know how to pronounce this shit. So this one, it just helps to brighten up under your eyes and a more hydrating feeling. And you want to use the most lightest finger, which is your ring finger. And pat that shit in, girl. Gently, okay? Gently. Right now you can tell my skin looks super moisturized. Um, so actually I'm going to like <clears throat> talk about myself while I get ready. But I'll also show you the products that I use throughout the get ready with me. Okay, so I'm just going to use the <clears throat> Mario Badescu Primer Water. I'm going to let that sit for a minute to get that glowy skin. I like to use the MAC Strobe Cream. This one is in the shade Gold Light. or Yeah, Gold Light. Um, I think they have one that's like a peachy tone. And then they have one that's like, like a pink toned and... Uh, I believe it's like, like a bluey holographic looking one But I could be wrong about the last one And then I put it on like the highlighting points of my skin first And then I mix it in I know I have a lot of blemishes but We're gonna hide that today, okay? I'm gonna use the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer And that's just gonna go under our foundation Just to take away the dark circles I don't have strong dark circles, but I do want it to look um, brighter. So I'm not going to put a lot because this product can work with very little for a lot of payoff. I'm going to use the ColourPop 
um, brush and I'm just gonna lightly tap in and I have like a some on my finger and I'm just like taking from there and applying it to my under eye because if I put it directly it'll start it'll look more cakey on me and I don't like that especially if I'm just going to the pool so you want to make sure you always blend up here and down so if you don't know me already I am 25 years old my ethnicity is por mostly Portuguese if you don't know what that is then bitch look it up <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it's just like a type of type of white. I grew up in Hawaii, born and raised. I'm going to college still, but um, I'm still trying to find my true passion in life, I guess. Like what I want to do the rest of my life. Like honestly, makeup and fashion is a big part of that. So I'm hoping like a lot of my work into this will pay off one day like i really truly appreciate all the love and support that my friends and family give me and all like the awesome ideas you guys suggest and stuff like so keep that coming like i'm not i'm never not listening so i'm gonna use this foundation by mac it's waterproof i just got it yesterday i've never used it before so this is like a first impressions kind of thing this one i'm in the color nc25 I'm just really hoping it doesn't oxidize because the girl did say it does oxidize. She said depending on your skin, so I'm just kind of hoping it doesn't make it look too orangey, you know what I'm saying? I used to wear this color before, so I hope I'll be okay. The reason why I bought it was because it was waterproof and it looked like it was like kind of full coverage from like the reviews. So, um, but yeah, I, I wanted to recreate this channel again because I felt like there's a lot of... Uh, beauty gurus out there like I know it's like a very competitive um, career now but honestly I don't care <laughs> I'm willing to work to like get where I want to go and I just want to be I want to be a influence I care how like long I need to work toward it I don't care how many hours I need to put into this like I want to do this and if you want to do it don't or do something and someone else doesn't agree with you never let that get you down you cannot continue to think that you cannot do things and without even trying so I'm gonna use the physicians formula and I'm just gonna use my morphe e2 brush and I'm gonna put some of that on my cheeks I don't want to put a lot I just want it to look look a little sun-kissed so yeah that's why I wanted to make my channel I taught myself from being gay and coming out and going through all those hardships just from being gay um that you you can be whoever you want to be you be you and that's that's the bottom line if no one can can accept you for you then you don't need them in your life my biggest thing is to surround yourself with people who will believe in you and who will support you and who will love you for you and it sounds very cliche but that's what makes a healthy mindset so that's basically i mean i know it's a little too much but that's basically why i wanted to come back and do this channel and and Prove to myself that I can do this. And honestly, I wanted to, to make something of myself with something that I love. But yeah, so I'm going to actually go in with the Cover FX uh, droplet things. I'm going to put very little on my beauty blender. I'm going to put some on my cheekbone. Like, just dot it. And then I'm going to just buff it down into the skin. I've been out of the closet I guess you could say since I was I want to say 18 um I honestly don't think my mom really liked it um I mean what mom or what parent really does like want it for their child but um my mom was diagnosed with cancer I think after she she came around a little more and didn't didn't judge me because she she knew that like life is too short and why am I spending my energy my time and my energy on something that I can embrace instead of 
um, think of negatively. And so she came around and she, she really loved my fiance right now. She, it was kind of a weird thing, like I met my fiance right in time when my mom was like going through all these problems. And I honestly tell my fiance, like, you're my guardian angel because without you, like, I would have had nowhere to sleep, nowhere to go. Like, no one wanted to take me in. Like, mom and my stepdad were moving to the big island, which is another island on Hawaii. I live on the island of Oahu, for those of you who aren't from Hawaii. And so they moved there, and I didn't want to move there, obviously. Um, it, um, it's a very slow pace there, and I'm more of a city girl. So we're going to use this real quick before I get into it. This is actually one of the questions one of my friends wanted me to answer. Um, I met my fiance at a club. It was called Bar 7. If you're from Hawaii, you should know what that is. Well, it used to be called Bar 7. Now I think it's called like the district or whatever. We were both there with like different... Oh my god. So I've started on my eyebrows. I'm just using the um, Anastasia Dip Brow. I just wanted to use this one just because it's waterproof. And I'm using, um, it's a brush by Sonia Kesha. Um, you can get it at Target. It's pretty inexpensive. I think it was like 8 bucks or something like that. So yeah, I just became single. And I honestly didn't expect, any, expect anything out of the night. So I was just like, whatever, I'm just going to have fun. And like, me and my friends were all drunk already, right? So I seen her from like across the way or whatever, and I was like, Oh my god, that girl looks so fucking cute. Like, I need to fucking get her today, okay? Like, I wanted to at least fucking dance with her or something. So I saw her on the dance floor. She was, she was like already dancing with another girl, I think. Kind of thinking to myself, like, fuck, is that her girlfriend? Like, I don't know if that's just like her girlfriend or she's like some club hoe or something, you know? Like, I didn't know what to think about it. And then, um, I kind of like booty bumped her. And then she turned around and started dancing with me. So I was like, okay, this girl's probably like a hoe or whatever. Or like a club hoe. You know, like the ones that just go to the club to dance and like have fun and whatever. So we were dancing and then we like just started making out. Like, I think we were just both really freaking drunk. <laughs> we just started making out. It was like no one else was in the room with me except her. And then I think she even like fucking lifted me up and was like dancing with me and shit. Like it was so funny. Like now that I think back, like she would have never did that sober. Like fuck. So anyways, so um, she asked me to put her, my number in her phone. I guess like we were leaving and it was like the last fucking song. Like we danced to the last, last song. I think um, one of her friends... He was like trying to call her like hurry up let's go already and she's like no 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 wait just wait and then um when I did give her my number we left or whatever and I, I still kind of like didn't want to believe that she was even like good I guess you could say I thought she was more like a a bad girl like and she even had told me like what her profession was and I was just kind of like tripping out like oh really like I would have never expected that so I'm just using the powder just to set it, okay? And so she texts me and she uses like the most corniest fucking line. Like, I guess she asked me what my horoscope sign was. And honestly, I'm actually kind of into horoscopes. Like, I kind of believe certain stuff about them. It's kind of cool and kind of weird to know that she was trying to drop some, drop some lands on me, okay? Oh, grr. So she's, so she's texting me while I'm like going home and then she's like what's your horoscope sign and I was like Gemini why what is yours and then after she was like oh I'm an Aquarius she's like you know our our signs are compatible or some shit like that and I was like bitch try to spit game so I'm um, sorry real quick I'm using the fix plus fix plus spray just to set my makeup but you see how like my skin is like very radiant and like I know this one is still kind of there but ignore if you really wanted to cover all your blemishes you could like just spot treat I'm just gonna go in and show you an example cuz I mean I don't care I just take the same brush that I use for my concealer and I just like kind of dab it and I go around like I, I know like the bump is still there but just go around it. 
and then you can do the same thing for your other blemishes so yeah you can see how glowy this side is so that's what i wanted to make it look like a glowy af so anyways that's pretty much how we met if you do want to get to know me a little bit more um send me a comment down below I can link all the products and what I used today down there as well. I already have my lash extensions, so if I didn't have lash extensions, I would just use um, my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is just a travel-sized one, but I would just use this to put on the top, but I'm just going to use it on the bottom lash line. Lastly, I'm just going to use the Fenty Lip Gloss just for... A little more shine and that's it that completes the look so if you guys have any other questions just let me know down below um thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you more throughout my channel love you guys